so far we have a pretty nice little e-commerce store to sell our themes right now a user can go to a themes page they can view all the themes that we have they can click into individual themes look at the image of it read a little bit of description pick what version they want and add it to the cart once they add it to the cart they can go to the checkout page and submit payment and purchase the theme before we move any further I want to add themes to our my navigation bar so since we created it as an archives page it's going to have to be a custom link so in appearance menus I'm just going to go ahead and create a custom link I'm going to do slash themes and give it title themes save menu reload and there we go it's added to my menu now so now I can go directly to my themes page so you'll notice when you go to the shopping cart or the checkout page that I have this sidebar over here I don't want to um, distract users when they're on my checkout page I want them just to go through the checkout process so I'm going to remove the sidebar on the checkout page so to do this I'm going to create a, a custom page template so what I'm going to do down here I already have a full width page template in my theme which is pretty much like the default page template but instead of using uh, column 9 you can see here that I'm using column 12 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate that file save as I'm going to call it template checkout save that I'm not going to use the full width I could easily use the full width for example let me show you that real quick so under pages check out my default I'm going to use full width here update that reload you can see that it goes full width it's a little wide for me so I'm going to use uh, what bootstrap has and I can offset the columns a little bit make it a little bit narrower so that's what I'm going to do here so I have this checkout template uh, column large 12 and I need to go to I always forget how to do this for some reason in CSS there's this offset grid system offsetting columns here we go this is exactly what I need so I'm gonna do like an 8 and then I'm gonna offset it by 2 save that and for the template name I'm gonna name it uh, checkout so when you're creating a new page template this is pretty much all you need up top in the comments is just to do template name colon and then whatever you want to call it WordPress will go through this comment say hey this is a new template name checkout so I need to add it so when we go into our WordPress dashboard and we edit a page the checkout page you'll see down here that we now have this checkout option so let's check that update it and now when we reload the front end of the site see I have a little bit more narrow checkout page it looks pretty nice so now I have a checkout page it's pretty straightforward doesn't have any sidebars the user sees exactly what they have added to their shopping cart and what they're actually gonna buy they can go through the payment process and hit the purchase button so I'm gonna end this tutorial here in the next video we're gonna go over how we can customize this checkout page a little bit